as we look at verse 2 of Psalm chapter 23. Point number one, the shepherd's presence is all that matters. The shepherd's presence is all that matters. David says, the shepherd makes me lie down. An indication that as the sheep settle down, the shepherd is there with the sheep. You see, it is about the presence of the shepherd. It's not about the green grass. <laughs> it's not about the pastures. It's not about the still waters that gives rest to the sheep. It's about the presence of the shepherd. The shepherd's presence is all that matters. You see, friends, it's not about the cars. It's not about the houses. It's not even about the good health. It's not about the availability of school fees. It's not about having the child. It's not about finding the husband or finding the wife. It is about the presence of the shepherd in our lives. And I am saying this morning, the shepherd's presence is all that matters. You see, the shepherd knows sheep will not digest food unless they lie down. And the shepherd knows that sheep will not lie down unless they feel safe. And the shepherd's presence provides this sense of security and safety from the dangers around and from the dangers within. I am saying this morning, the shepherd's presence is all that matters. In the book Education, page 124, the servant of the Lord writes, man created for fellowship with God can only in such fellowship find his real life and development. The shepherd's presence is all that matters. Desire of Ages 341, she writes, the only safeguard against Satan's power is found in the presence of Jesus Christ, amen. The shepherd's presence is all that matters. She continues and says, it is not enough that we admit Christ into our lives or into our hearts. We must encourage his presence by a life of prayer. The Seventh-day Adventist Bible commentary, page 987, says to us, the definition of heaven is the presence of Christ. Beloved, beloved friends, in other words, heaven will not be heaven if Jesus Christ shall not be there. His presence, the shepherd's presence, is all that matters. It continues and says, it is the presence of Jesus that is needed in our assemblies. Preaching in itself has no natural power. The shepherd's presence is all that matters. This helps us to understand when we read the account in Exodus chapter 33, verse 14, a narrative that begins, of course, from chapter 32, when Moses is up on the mountain receiving the Ten Commandments and the Israelites are down uh, below the mountain and begin to worship the golden calf. And the Lord is angry with the children of Israel. And as you begin chapter 33, God says to Moses, I will not go with you. And after Moses pleads with God in verse 14, the Lord says, the Bible records, and he said, God said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. That is, friends, the cloud by day 
and the pillar of fire, excuse me, by night. The shepherd's presence is all that matters. And the servant of the Lord in Patriarchs and Prophets 3.23, dealing with the same account of Exodus 33, indicates the promise of the divine presence was to Moses an assurance of success in the work before him. Moses was no longer worried. Moses would no longer be anxious Moses would find true rest in leading the children of Israel, knowing that the presence of the shepherd was constantly with them. In fact, she concludes by saying, no earthly power or skill or learning can supply the place of God's abiding presence. Are you searching for rest this morning? Are you searching for peace of mind this morning? Are you searching for life free of anxiety? I am saying to you, my brothers and sisters, the shepherd's presence is all that matters. Point number two, the shepherd's provisions are enough. David says he makes me lie down in green pastures. God has given us the best grass ever. We have every blessing we need in the Lord. In other words, the grass is not greener on the other side. <laughs> the shepherd's provisions are enough. Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 11 through 16. The Lord, the servant of the Lord records God's word I will feed them on the mountains. I will feed them in good pasture. I will feed in rich pasture on the mountains of Israel. I will feed my flock and I will make them lie down, says the Lord God. I am saying this morning, the shepherd's provisions are enough. Provisions, supplying of something, especially of food or other necessities, or the meeting of needs and the supplying of means. This reminds me of the manna that was provided to the children of Israel as they journeyed in the wilderness. A lesson that God will provide sufficiently for his people and for his creation. God wanted, someone writes, them to demonstrate a life of trust, generosity, and sharing. The shepherd's provisions are enough. Yes, from the shepherd, it is enough. Yes, from the shepherd, it is the best. Yes, from the shepherd, it is the right green. Yes, from the shepherd, it is the correct pasture. The shepherd's provisions are enough. Desire of Ages, page 187. The servant of the Lord writes, the cisterns will be emptied. The pools become dry. But our redeemer is an inexhaustible fountain. From this source, we may draw strength and grace sufficient for all our needs. Beloved brothers and sisters, I am saying this morning, the shepherd's provisions are enough. Point number three, the shepherd's refreshing is what we need now. The shepherd's refreshing is what we need now. David writes, he leads me to still waters, O oh, quiet streams. And the purpose of the still waters and the quiet streams is for the refreshing of the sheep. This is precisely the purpose of the priesthood and the ministry of Christ in the sanctuary. 
The shepherd's refreshing is what we need now. There should be no delay any longer. Today, just now, while it is cold today, I am saying the shepherd's refreshing is what we need now. In John chapter 4, verse 10, the account of Jesus and the Samaritan woman, Jesus said to her, if you knew, if only you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked him. <laughs> this morning, my brothers and sisters, I am saying the shepherd's refreshing is what we need now. He said to her, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. The shepherd's refreshing is what we need now. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 3, for I will pour water on him who is thirsty. I will pour my spirit and my blessing on your offspring. Beloved, I am saying the shepherd's refreshing is what we need now. I am saying our greatest need today is the infilling of the Holy Spirit. As we pray this morning, may the shepherd lead us to still waters. For the shepherd's refreshing is what we need now. In the book, Early Writings, page 71, there is a solemn quotation that I wish to share with you as I close. The servant of the Lord says, I saw that many were neglecting the preparation so needful and were looking in the time of refreshing and the latter rain still in future. In other words, she says, she saw many of us thinking that it would still come in future, waiting for a time of refreshing. We were still waiting. And yet she continues and says, oh, how many I saw in the time of trouble without a shelter. They had neglected the needful preparation. My brothers and sisters, I am saying, the shepherd's refreshing is what we need now. Psalm chapter 23, verse two. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me besides the still waters. The shepherd's presence is all that matters. The shepherd's presence, provisions are enough. The shepherd's refreshing is all we need now. Shall we pray? Gracious, kind, and loving Father, we thank you for the blessings of today, the gift of life. We thank you for your word that has been spoken. And now we pray, Lord, that may you, O oh Lord, allow us to find this refreshing even now, even as we will break off into our prayer rooms. Oh God, may you visit us and may you be our shepherd today in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thanks, uh, Pastor Ziela, for that wonderful message. Uh, just a few points that I'm picking up here is that the shepherd's presence is all that matters. And the number two, provisions from the shepherd are enough. And the last one, refreshing is what we need right now. And the, the gospel dispensation started with an anointing of the Holy Spirit and the end of this gospel dispens dispensation is going to need a refreshing from on high so that we can finish the work that God has given us.